This subquery if must start a project indexes all transfer events. So let's get this going first by jumping into VS Code and we'll run the subql init command and we'll call the project evmos demo. We'll then select the Cosmos network family. We'll go and select the evmos network. Choose the starter project and then we'll accept the default parameters and we're underway. Let's cd into the folder and then the first thing is to run yarn install. Now that we've got the node dependencies, next up let's go and run yarn code gen to generate the TypeScripts and then we'll build the code. The last step is to start docker. We can use the start docker command or I can also run yarn dev which will replace the last three commands that we used. So with this up and running, let's first take a look at our manifest file here. You can see that we're hitting the evmos endpoint on port 26657. Other endpoints can be found if we go to the evmos documentation page. You can see here public available endpoints. Quite a few to choose from, which is great to see. Scrolling down here, you can see we are starting at block 58,000 and we are filtering on the cosmos.bank.v1 beta 1 message send message type within a Cosmos message. In our schema file here, we've got two entities, transfer event and a message, indexing parameters such as to and from addresses and transfer amount. Our mapping file has two functions called handle message and handle event that extracts the data from the message and the event transaction object respectively. These pass through as an argument, as you can see here, with type cosmos message and type cosmos event. So we've got the indexer up and running. Let me jump to our readme page because I want to copy out the sample query. And then I'll jump across into our playground here at localhost 3000. Let's open a new query. I'll paste this in, run this, and you can see we've got some data coming back. Now to cross check this, let's just copy the hash here. And I'll go into a website called mintscan.io forward slash evmos. Really neat explorer here. Let me go into a transaction and replace this with our one. And we'll do a quick comparison. So if I zoom in here, you should be able to see that the sender ends in ZH24, ZH24, and the recipient here, or the to address, is actually the same as well. And then with the amount here is 0.01 FMOS tokens, which matches here too. 